guys and welcome back to today's video. I hope you guys are doing great. Today I'm actually filming in my little one's uh, playroom slash I guess makeshift school room for now. Um, we're getting ready to tear apart our dining room slash kitchen. We're getting ready to tear down a big wall. Um, I'll probably take you guys along with us as we do our home renovations um, but that means we'll kind of be confined to only a certain area of the house. So you'll probably be seeing me film in here a lot more and be seeing more like the kids room and stuff like that. But yeah, that's where I am today. Um, yeah, today we're going to be doing a video. I'm going to be showing you what we're going to be doing for the month of March for our unit study. As I mentioned in some of my previous videos, our kids are really interested in learning about the human anatomy, human body, um, about babies, and just all, just all the different things about human anatomy. Um, so I'm going to be showing you the books that I got that we're going to be using for that topic. Um, some human anatomy models that I got to put together with the kiddos. And then I have a human anatomy floor puzzle, which I'll show you. And I also have a great, great free printable hack um, unit study that we got to go along with it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. And as always, if you do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it. The first book we got, which I did show in another video, is Inside the Human Body. It's this one right here. Um, and the, one of the reasons why our kiddos love this one in particular is a lot of the pages fold out. So it's pages within pages within pages. So it's just really, really cool. I did already show this part, but I'll show it again um, if you can see the full thing. Um, they absolutely love this book just because, like I said, of all the fold outs. And pretty much every other page folds out. So it's really, really neat. They fold out all different directions, making it super interactive for the kiddos. So this will be one of our main meat pieces of our human anatomy study, and it's really kid friendly, so I like this one as well. The next one we have is the first book on the human body, this one right here. Again, I did show this in another video, it's from Flower Pot Press, and this is an older book as well, um, but a lot of the information here is very, very just kid friendly, child friendly, and just really nice for the good ones and really visual as well. So we're showing our friends about what we're going to be learning with the human body, the human body unit study. This is the Usborn, Usborn, sorry, First Encyclopedia of the Human Body. It's this one right here. And this, again, has just really, really fun illustrations. Really simple. Bye, sweetie. Really simple illustrations and great for kids. Um, and a lot of the illustrations are really just bright and beautiful and very kid friendly as well. The next one we have is Looking Into My Body. It's this one here. Um, my favorite thing about this one is a transparent part here. So when you open it up, each page peels back a different layer. So you have the system here, and then you just get deeper and deeper into the human body. And yeah, I really, really like this one. And the kids love this one too, because you can actually visually see the layers being pulled back. The next two books I got are actually coloring books, so more hands-on. Um, this is my first human body book. It's a little bit more advanced than I would like for the kindergarten age. Um, but the kiddos love, love coloring, and even though they don't color it perfectly, they still learn a lot by coloring it. So this will be a fun book to add in, and as you can see, the details are really good in it. So like I said, it's not going to be about coloring it perfectly, it's going to be about coloring it, and while they're coloring it, I will be able to kind of show them what they're coloring and make that come to life for them. And they'll be able to color it whatever colors they want and <laughs> make it come alive for themselves as well. And then the other one I got, and this was definitely way, way more advanced than what I would like them to have, but I got this one almost for me. Um, Hugh Anatomy, this one here. Um, this is just another human anatomy coloring book, um, but it is very detailed. So this is almost one of those stress relieving coloring books. The, the adult coloring books, this one here. But it's very detailed, very intricate. And yeah, I'll probably end up doing this one along with them. Um, that way I can show them exactly what things are. Um, just like the, in the in, yeah, the section here about the brain. It's very detailed and very intricate. So that will be fun to do with them. And I actually really, really do like coloring. It's very stress relieving. <laughs> so sometimes at night, we'll just get a big box of um, our crayons and pencils and just put them on the living room floor. And then we'll each grab a book and just sit there and color together. So I'm actually really looking forward to digging into this one. Next book slash kind of kit, honestly, is Explore the Human Body. It's this one right here. 
um, says learn all about the most complex machine in the universe, which is you. And it has each page kind of flips out. And if you can tell, instead of being a transparent, this is actually like a 3D model right here. Um, it's just really, really cool. I really like this one. They actually, in this series, they have Explore a Frog, Explore a Frog, um, a Shark, sorry. Um, and I want to say a cow maybe in this series. I'll have to check and see. Um, but yeah, this is the human body one. And you just can go through all the pages. And as you can tell, like each page adds in just a little bit more detail. Um, and you can just flip through it. And yeah, I'm actually really, really looking forward to doing this with them. And they actually already discovered this one and already dove into it and they love it. So <laughs> that's a plus. With the books, I got three human anatomy models to do along with them. And they are more advanced. Like I said, this is for eight years and up. Um, but for me, one of my favorite ways of learning and also my favorite ways of teaching is to do hands-on, like actually learning and feeling and feeling things go together. Um, and because of that, I did get these Clerken models. This is the 4D Human Anatomy Respiratory System. This one right here. It goes in kind of like a puzzle. And I know they love puzzles and this will be really fun to put together with them. And then on the back, here's all the pieces that come with it. But yeah, it's like pretty much build your own human anatomy museum and all the parts are detachable. The finish is very lifelike and yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that with them. Another one that I got is just the torso. This is a smaller one, this is one right here. Um, and this is another just detachable part, little anatomy model. Um, it comes with 32 parts. These are the, some of the parts that it comes with. And yeah, it's great for STEM, and I'm really looking forward to diving into this one as well. The last model I got was the, um, yeah, the skeleton, like the full human anatomy skeleton. Um, and this is also detachable, it comes with 46 parts, and then I believe it also has a stand, so when it's done, we can also leave it out as we finish up our human anatomy study. So this will make everything in the books come to life. So as we're reading about different bone structures, as we're reading about how the body goes together, we can put this together as well as the respiratory system when we get to that. And being able to touch the parts and put them all together will make the whole thing come to life. So I am excited about the 40 models and um, just the overall unit study in general. As be I'm mostly, I think I'm mostly excited about it honestly because they are. And when they get excited about learning something, I'm all on board with that as well. So. <laughs> Yeah. The last thing I have for the unit study, and it's honestly probably one of the things that I'm most excited about because it was free and I'm just like all about the free unit studies. Um, it is a human anatomy printable pack from the Homeschool Compass, this one right here. As you can tell, there is just a lot of information in this packet, like it's a full of information, and it is very child friendly, it's very age appropriate, and some of my just favorite, favorite things about the Homeschool Compass is that they do give out these free unit studies every so often. I haven't quite figured out how often they do because I feel like it changes, but there's one, at least one or two every single month that you can go onto their website and just print off. For those of you that don't know, I believe the Homeschool Compass is the actual blog from christianbook.com. Um, I get a lot of my homeschool resources from Christian Book, and so I always follow their blog as well. And with following their blog, you also get a bunch of free printables. So I will kind of do a quick flip through on some of my favorite parts of this. Um, this is the actual, just basic layout of the organs of the human body, this one here. Um, so you can print this out. I actually may end up laminating some of these, because this is something too that like, even though we might not go into so much detail when they're little, they will actually, sorry for the noise, <laughs> we probably will go into the human body almost every single year, whether it be studying sciences or things like that. So I probably will go ahead and laminate the, the things like this where I know um, that they'll be looking at it over and over again. Um, this is the, another organs of the human body where we can go through and label everything. So we'll actually be able to cut things out or I'll label it for them. Then this is information on each part of the organs of the human body. So there's a good paragraph about each thing. So it's actually kind of like a book with the hands-on activities as well. And I really, really like that. So you can go and label all the different parts and then you can go back and read like what different it is. Um, and this is just the organs of the human body continued. Um, and then you go and next is the skeletal system. And this one right here. 
next to the skeletal system, and then you will have the same layout like you did with the other system. So you will have where they go through and label all the parts, and then you'll go into the information about that part, um, and then you'll go into just the actual, um, it's almost like a little dictionary for the skeletal system. This one right here, but yeah, it has all the terms and the words and all the descriptions and everything like that. Sorry, it's so noisy. <laughs> And then you do the muscular system is next. And again, it's this exact same thing. I'll kind of flip through here really quick and get see what the um, other parts of it is. So you have the muscular system. After the muscular system, we'll be going into the respiratory system. And again, you have the page that has all the descriptions, what you like labeling all the parts and everything like that. I do love how simple and beautiful the illustrations are. They're really kid friendly, like I said. Um, after the respiratory system, you will have the circulatory system. And then again, go through labeling all the parts, learning what's in that and all the, um, the terms and everything like that. And then you have the circulatory system again. Only this is just has to do with the heart. So you have all the anatomy of the heart there. And again, you can learn where all the different chambers are and everything like that within the heart. Um, so you have the circulatory, circulatory system, sorry. And then you go into the digestive system. So right here. And again, same layout. Um, I do love how it's not just one massive page of everything. They do go into the different systems. Um, I believe it's more easy that way. So we can almost do one system per week versus just being totally overwhelmed with all the information. And then we have the nervous system. And again, same layout and same type of information. And then nervous system, I do really like this one, how they did color code it. So the kids can really see the different parts of the brain and what different um, different parts of the brain are used for. So there's that part of the nervous system. Um, and then next is, let me find it here. This is actually something that I definitely, definitely will laminate are the human anatomy flashcards. Um, you have the brain, the heart, the lungs, the liver. And we have the spleen, gallbladder, stomach, and kidneys. And yeah, so we'll have all the different parts and I'll definitely will laminate these. And then you even go into the bone structures as well. So we'll have a over page and spine. All of these flashcards as well for all the bones. And handwriting worksheets. So this is why I was saying it's really nice that if they're so kid friendly, um, because they do have handwriting worksheets. So these are different Bible verses, um, and they just copy the little words here, for we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared, prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. And so for their handwriting practices, there's several different Bible verses. This one comes with four different verses. But yeah, that is the whole pack. Um, if you do get a chance, or if you have a printer or you're able to print it off, I definitely recommend grabbing it. It is free. It's a great resource. And if you do laminate the charts, um, the charts, and sorry, the flashcards, it will last forever. And you can use it for all your little ones. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, I'd love to have you so join our family. You could do so by subscribing down below. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Stay safe and God bless. Bye, guys.